360 there. Wow, that's kind of loud. Can you hear it on both sides? Yeah, I can. Okay. Awesome. Testing, testing. That's okay. Good. Dang, that's some epic music. It's gonna lead up to it. This is just the soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> Just a second to set this up. How'd you get the software for this? I've been looking oh, online all over. It's, it's XSplit. You actually, I think, I think you have to pay for it now. It's licensed. Oh, okay. Uh, what the hell does Arthur go by? Arthur goes by. He goes by Arthur goes by Arthur. Okay, that's fair enough. And oh God X. Yeah. Oh God X is uh, Matt, the wizard hat guy. Matt, the wizard hat. Right now we got friendlies going on. Uh, it's Tribal versus Arthur. Tribal playing Fox and uh, Arthur playing the Green Falco. Uh, they should get this edge guard right here. Yeah. This matchup is a 50-50. Both characters can combo each other pretty well. Uh, they're, they're considered like top, top, top of the top. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our, uh, Fox is the top tier, and then a little bit behind is Falco. You can see over there, right? I gotta block this one. Yeah, this one. Um, looks like Arthur's four stock in Tribal right here. Tribal, um, I've only played him in tournament a couple times. He's, he's a very technical fox. He makes some mistakes here and there, but uh, he definitely knows what he's doing. He's got the tech skill down. If he gets the shine spike right here, that's the one problem he has. He doesn't have his edge guard down. Otherwise, Falco would be dying a lot more often. Game. Are they ready to play tournament? Um, let's let's talk to Arthur. Can we? Hey Arthur. Arthur, can we play tournament? Ready? It's you versus Matt. Hey Matt, right now. Um, We're hour hour behind schedule. Oh. Matt. Matt! Uh, he may have went to the loo. Little uh, pee break before his winner's finals. Nerves can get to you. Yeah. <laughs> so you have, have the Smash community ever ever streamed their stuff? Or put um, I, I occasionally or stream. Like oh, okay. uh, when we're at Matt's house or my house, uh -huh. when we're, if we have stream available. Like we don't just stream Smash though, because we play League of Legends and Dota as well. Right. So it's whatever, it's whoever has his computer available and who, which which house we're at. Oh wait, this is wrong. Oh, here we go. I like that. That looks really good on the screen. Yeah, I just got the okay from SenjiCon to run run all their fighting tournaments. Oh, right on. So That's pretty we're cool. Gonna be, we're gonna Streaming. we're gonna have a staging area too with a projector and show this. You know, yeah. trying to make it a little bit more of an event. Run a stream and everything. I'm really hoping I can stream like other stuff for them other than fighters. What would be really we'll cool is if you can get these mics to uh, go on the, uh, the speaker, right? Uh, Loudspeaker. Loud well. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, while, while you're waiting, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you don't know already, you can find all of the stream archives at YouTube.com/slash Alaska Gamers. You can join our giant Facebook group of fighting gamers of all type, all walks of. Fighting game types, I guess. There's about 156 members in the group right now, or yeah, something. 160? I don't know. There's only really like 30 active, yeah. but whatever. And Twitter, which we don't even use, but follow us anyway. <laughs> Whenever you guys are ready. Just waiting you on you, Matt. You got you all set up. Is he nervous? Uh, Matt's the best in Alaska. I think. Uh, I think he can be nervous. Uh, Arthur's Arthur. He's not. He's not unbeatable. Uh -huh. If anyone ha here has a chance of beating him, it's Arthur and Caleb. Um, 
but Arthur Arthur plays a really good Falco. He plays a huge cast of characters, actually, but looks like he may be going Falco for this game. Uh, they're going through this process called stage striking right now. Oh, you can play on there. Fine. So pretty much uh, one character bands, uh, takes out two stages, the next guy takes out two stages. Okay, it looks like they're going to Battlefield there for their first match. Um, right here, Marth is supposed to win this. It's a f At top tier level, Marth is, it's a 50-50 matchup, but uh, Marth has advantage on the stage, actually. Um, Do you know this guy? Oh, do I have the names right? I think I have one player. Arthur's playing. Yeah. Arthur's playing Falco, right? Yeah. Okay. Arthur's playing the green Falco. Um, pretty much what Matt wants to do here is, yeah, once Falco gets off the stage, Marth wants to keep him off the stage, and that's going to be very, very easy for him because Marth has a wide set of edge guarding skills. Um, what Falco wants to do is just get the first hit and then just keep comboing him like like this. And then uh, you don't want Marth to be able to grab the ledge because it's very hard for uh, Falco to edge guard him. Okay. Um, you want him to just you want to just straight up kill him. What another thing that Marth has an advantage over Falco is that he has a long range grab. Ooh. Yeah, that's a uh, spikes. Spikes is what Falco wants to do as well. Just combo. Combo and spikes, that's what uh, Falco wants to do. But like I said, Marth has the advantage because he has a long range grab and he can just he uh, head hog that ledge all day. You know, uh, There's not a lot Falco can do for it. But uh, Falco also does have lasers. It's the best projectile in the game. You can just stay back and spam them. Uh, Marth has a lot. Marth. Matt has a lot of experience in this matchup because pretty much everyone plays Falco. Of course. He's very he's very standard, very textbook. He's like the Ryu. Yeah. Of yeah. Smash. Except in pretty like if Ryu was like a tier higher. Oh okay. Yeah. Like back in Super. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um what what Falco does not want to do here is get caught on the platform because Matt wants to get him on the platform and they're, they're, he's very vulnerable. Falco's very very vulnerable because his sword actually goes through the platform and uh, he can hit him just from standing underneath there. Falco just wants to get in there, just not get grabbed. See, look, he's on the platform. Matt can just does what do whatever he wants to him as long as he's underneath. Uh, Falco has a lot of shield pressure as well. He can just run up to you and just like down air and shine all day. Falco is not going to make it back from this. It's too hard of a hit. Falco doesn't have a very good recovery, so if he gets hit just too far out, he just can't. He just can't come back. Um, it's also very hard to uh, grab the ledge on this stage because it's a very thin line. So if he misses his recovery, it's it's over. It's going in for a spike, and he gets it, solidifies the kill. It's 25 to 0. Percentages on the same life don't really mean anything in melee because uh, because of all the combos. The de the combos in this game are very damage stacking. Matt's going to try an edge guard, and he fails there. Falco's supposed to fly the other way. Yeah. You don't want to get caught on the platform here. Because you're very, like I said, you're very vulnerable as you're getting up. So all that shield pressure, Matt has a hard time handling it. I also, I uh, think tournament nerves gets to Matt as well. It's kind of, it's kind of nerve-wracking playing someone fierce as Arthur. Right, <laughs> especially this, this, this yeah. far in the bracket. Yeah. yeah those lasers are probably going to get him there. Uh, he misses his forward smash. Falco just trying to look for an opening. Both of them are at very serious killing range. And That's it. Yeah, just one hit from a strong attack. So this is gonna be a three out of five set, right? Since this mm -hmm. is a winner's final. Whoa, it's really bright. Um, on this stage, it's pretty much the same principle, except Falco has a little bit more of an advantage here uh, because he can ride the walls, he can ride the sides. There's also the random factor, not really random, it's more like a tempo factor of Randall the Cloud. Um, 
See, Marth, Marth Sword just pretty much hits for half the stage here. What he wants to do is combo and keep comboing and get the killing blow. Otherwise, Matt's going to get a reversal and just going to turn things around. He's going to try and go for a killing blow right here. Falco's at 111%. It's pretty easy to get a kill. The size of the stage, the it's pretty, it's pretty small. It's a very small stage, so you can kill at lower percentages than this. Marth is also a very light character, so like any any light hit, Mar Marth successfully edge guards. Edge guards. Uh, Matt trying to get some breathing from Falco, but that's fine. Lands a couple forward smashes. Caleb, you sure you don't want to cast? Uh, and uh. Matt messes up the edge guard. Falco wanna get to wanna lead leads with the laser, try and get in there. And uh, hopefully he gets a kill right here. It's not gonna happen. He misses anytime Falco does not L cancel his grab when he hits a shield, it's a free grab for Marth. And uh, things can go badly from there. This is supposed to be game right here. Not game but life, yeah. So uh, Matt's ahead by one life, but he has a he's at very high percentage, so and there it is, even up. One hit. That's all it takes. It's a very strong back air. Pretty much all their moves are very strong here. Uh Arthur getting off actually. He's just uh reading that reading the text. Which is what Falco wants to do, like I said. Uh, he wants to combo and then just get a killing blow. Uh, Marth successfully getting the kill there with the side B. Marth is pretty good at, uh, Matt's pretty good at using the side B, I would think. Uh, looks like, uh, Falco is just playing a little bit too aggressively here. He needs to back off, get some breathing room, and, uh, gets the kill off the side here, because like I said, Yoshi's story is a small stage. <laughs> I can't contribute, I can just listen. <laughs> um, another principle of the stage, uh, of this game, is that you want to remain center stage because the closer you are to the center, the harder it is to kill you because the, the harder they have to knock you, the further away they have to knock you, and knockback is based on percentage. Um, I think Matt's just trying to look for grab opportunities here. And the second game goes to Arthur, landing a strong back air. It's, the score's 1 1 right now. Um, they're, they're going to FD, which can go either way for him. I think it's more in Falco's advantage here because uh, he, has, he has a lot of combos that he can pull off as soon as he gets the first hit in. But then again, Matt can chain grab, which he's about to do right here. It's pretty, it's pretty lame. Anything, anytime Matt gets a grab, uh, it's a free, it's a free combo for him. And then Matt going for the ledge guard. Anytime Fal Falco goes off the stage, Martha's supposed to win that. I think uh, Falco just needs to be a little bit more aggressive. He needs to get in there, get in Mars face. Don't let him grab. And. Uh, Going for the ballsy ledge guard there. Messed up on his double laser. Messed up on the forward smash. It's very hard to edge guard Marth because his upbeat goes through the stage and kind of interrupts anything you're about to do to ledge guard him. Gets that down air in. Uh, I think Mar Matt wants to go for a grab and killing blow right now. But uh, in this stage, there's lots of room for Falco to run around, just spam his laser lasers, take his time, look for an opening. And they trade stock. Oh, they don't even trade stocks there. That's a pretty ballsy move, and it paid off for uh, Falco. And then, like I said, off the stage, Falco dies. Matt just trying to uh, get in there. Falco wants to put up more pressure like he's doing right now, get the combos in. 
Just like that, he's at 78% and uh, it's almost at killing range. Gets a tip or forward smash. That's a, that's a Mar Matt's known for that. He has very good spacing. Uh, the f there's different sweet spots for different moves, and Matt's pretty good at that. Uh, that's another way you can edge guard because if you lean your shield towards away from the stage, you naturally roll onto the side. And you'll grab onto the ledge before Mark does, and there's not a lot you can do about that. And uh, Matt's probably gonna get the kill here because, uh, maybe not. He's rolling towards center stage because, like I said, the closer you are towards the center, the harder you have to hit to kill. Matt misses the forward smash. He's just looking for that killing blow right now, and there it is. Uh, maybe not. And that's a very summary option for Falco from the stage. The double lasers, it interrupts anything they're about to do to edge guard you. That's if you're on the ledge. Matt decides to go, falls to the walls, goes off the stage, and gets the kill. Arthur's not there, right? Arthur is Falco, okay. that's correct. Going back to Yoshi's story here, um, this is a, like I said, Mars sword hits for half the stage here, but uh, Randall, but then again, it's also a small stage, so uh, Falco can actually combo very well, he trades there, and the trade worked out in his favor because he, he got a life off of that. Wow, a little bit of moonwalking action there. And uh, anytime Falco just sees an opening, he gets a down air and it's just like a 30 to 70% combo. It's pretty ridiculous. Arthur playing very, very safe. Uh, Matt's just trying to get in there with the neutral air, trying to poke him out of his shield so that he can combo into something else. Uh, I don't know why. Matt isn't going for grabs here. It's, it's very effective, especially when he has... Marth has the longest non-tethered grab range in the game, and if he gets the grab off, it's a it's a free combo for him. A uh, random forward smash there. Oh, and a fist missed forward smash by Matt. That would have definitely been a kill. Kill off the top. Both... Uh, Falco very vulnerable, 131%. Pretty much anything that hits him kills him. Like that. They're just dancing around, waiting for invincibility to wear off. What's up, Milo? And, uh, Falco Shine. I, I'm not qualified to discuss that. Who, who's here? Who, who, what's better? What do you mean? Arthur's Jesus beard or the, the wizard hat? Uh... That's a that's tough. I think that's okay a, okay. Well, you can buy a wizard hat. You can buy a wizard hat, but, but it takes you, time it, to grow. Yeah, I, I it takes it takes a special <laughs> gene to grow the the wizard the, the, the Jesus beard. The wizard, yeah. yeah, I'd have to give it to Arthur on that uh, one because that was a miracle in and of itself. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty tough to grow a beard as an Asian. Yeah, uh, I would definitely know. It's not tough at all to grow a beard as an Irishman. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I I didn't grow one actually. It's pretty easy. Oh man, and uh, that that combo into down air. That shy guy getting viciously, viciously assaulted right there. Yeah. Oh, both of them. Yeah. <laughs> took both of them out at once. Uh, th oh, man. Uh, trying to go for the edge guard there. Nice. It's down to... It's pretty even right now. Yeah, uh, Matt came back a little bit there. Yeah. He was he was behind. And going for the ledge techs and grabs. I mean, like... Uh, what Matt wants to do here is do a little thing called tech chasing. Uh, any t a tech is when you... Hit R off the ground. I think this is death for Falco. He can't do anything to survive. Uh, Matt's really good at uh, tech chasing, actually. Uh, I think Matt wins the set here. So it's 3-1. to one. Matt wins. Uh, coming up next, we got... I don't know. It's it's Caleb versus Tribrow, I think, in Losers Finals. Right? Get hype. Get hype. Uh, Tribrow coming in all the way from Wasilla. Hands, Good. applause to him. Uh, Question from okay. the stream chat. Do they ever play Project M? Thing? Uh, um, we do sometimes. Yeah. It depends on what we feel like. Worst camera ever. Seems pretty good. <laughs> yeah. okay, I'll just oh, have, we'll man. Just have to it's not mirrored, <coughs> is it? No, it's not. All right. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Uh, we sometimes play Project M. Uh, a few of us are a little hesitant on it. In my opinion, 
Uh, it looks like a good project, but I'm going to wait till the completed version is out before I give it final thoughts about it because it's still in beta. Who's the other guy with Mike? <laughs> I think you should introduce yourself. He has a sweet tie. How do you not know him? This guy plays a sick Vega. Have you, like, how do you not know about him? John. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, for those that don't know, I am uh, John, a.k.a. Vega Time, a.k.a. The Colonel, a.k.a. Critical Impact, a.k.a. Um, MC French Poon, or <laughs> um, several other names. doesn't matter anymore. Are, you, are you a Poon Archer, John? I'm not a Poon Archer. Uh, I'm a French Poon. Uh, uh, and th these are my shades, uh, and this is my hat. So, yeah, basically, I just sit around here and look pretty. That's pretty much my job. Um, I play Vega. I'm bad at it. I didn't, I'm terrible. I'm, I don't play Street Fighter anymore. Uh, but, um... Yeah, no, I uh, I mostly play Tekken these days. And Smash is a fighter. Fighter. Yeah, come on, don't hate. Yeah. That's you, got, you got reversals. Who's Vega? Oh, God. He's, he's Claw. Okay. Well, I don't know what that buzz was. It, uh, is it because I... No, it's not because I talk, I don't know. Balrog, a.k.a. Vega, a.k.a. Claw, a.k.a. Pretty Boy, Street Fighter, Wall Dives. Does, does this shit. Tell Matt to go Roy. Um, All right, I'll tell him that right now. Hey Matt, the streamers are requesting that you go Roy. Roy's our boy. Why? Because oh, he it, asked Roy. It, because it's free. Yeah. It's free. Um, it's free. Okay. The, He's not the projected matchup Matt, here is... Matt is not amused. Yeah. I think it's going to be uh, Caleb versus Tribrow. Both of them play Fox, but the projected winner of this is... Um, Matt yeah, Matt won. Yes, sir. The projected winner of... Wait, no. I, we already played... It's oh, sorry, no. Oh, it's Arthur versus Caleb. Okay, that's going to be a little different. Falco versus Fox. The thing about this matchup is that they're both uh, Fox is higher tier than Falco, but just a little bit, and both of them have what we call zero to death combos on it. So it's pretty much a hundred percent combo Fair. in traditional fighting games. Yep. Uh, the only I'm advantage, kind of yeah, the advantage that. Um, Falco has is that he has lasers that stuns which can lead into combos and he can do it from range. He can just sit back and just uh, projectile spam all day every day. Fox has a thing called chain grabbing uh, from 0% which is pretty pretty gay I think. So he gets a grab on you and he just grabs and re-grabs and re-grabs until you're high enough percent and then he up smashes you and then you die. Um, Falco has a regular down air spike on Fox on just about every character, but uh, Fox has a thing called Shine Spike, which is the stupidest spike in the game, in my opinion. He, it's a one frame. Shines are one frame attack. It comes out on the first frame, and uh, the first two frames are invincible. You know, uh, it's invincible. It's invincibility. Wow. Yeah. That's. But it's pretty hard to time. It's like one okay. or two frames. Yeah. And uh, Falco's shine comes out on frame three or something like that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But huh. the, the, the main difference between the two is that Fox's shine knocks you downwards, so uh, it, it can count as a spike, and you, you're, you're stunned for so long that you can't do anything about it. So he can run off the stage, shine you, and then you'll just be spiked, and there's no way you can recover from it. Hmm. Uh, Falco can only just down air from the stage. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I used to hear about like a lot of this terminology back in the day when like this game was like still on its like heyday and stuff like that. Like I'd get, like be trolling forums and shit and like get some stuff from once in a while and hear like you know all the terminology, but I never like knew what was going on because I was me and my friends just mashed. So it's uh, it's actually really interesting to hear the in depth breakdown. That's why I usually I'm really loudmouth on commentary. Yeah. But like when you're just like doing your shit, I'm just kind of going like, cool. This is really interesting because like I didn't I didn't like I've always known that there was like the super competitive side of Smash, but I never like got into it enough to like know what everything was. Yeah, it's so pretty it's underground. Yeah, yeah. it's it's, re it's pretty cool though. Actually, I really enjoy the like the um, the depth that actually goes into like everything about the game because yeah. I mean there's like a lot of spacing mind games, um, the chain grabbing and stuff. I mean I even know they had that in, like you know um, brawl which I mean was watered down like hell. But did he think? Did he leave because he thought it was over? I know he like when when he thinks it's done like he trolls out sometimes. Maybe he, he did that at KOF one time. Like we were like <laughs> I beat I beat him like three games straight at Mike's house and then like he was just like oh well anyways and like he just like left like oh. we didn't even say bye to anybody he was just whoosh, yeah that sounds, sounds like Arthur that <laughs> doesn't surprise me yeah. he, he's he's a man of very few words 
Like yeah. he'll talk back when you, he'll talk about when you talk to him, and he has he has a lot of insight on this game. Like he he plays with he used to play with Derek, and uh, he's <laughs> no he's, said yeah, yeah. <laughs> he has a lot of insight. Like uh, he his Falco is just better than mine, and I I I I, I listen to him. You know a lot, and I check with Matt, of course. But uh, between between the top players in Smash, I think we're all really glad that Smash made it into Evo this year. Uh, yeah, that was yeah, high news. Yeah, 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 I was not like, expecting I know, that at all. I, I know. I was like dropping paychecks. I was like, uh, Skullgirls is ahead. Give him money. Yep. <laughs> Put money into this. I want this to go to Evo. <laughs> well, there's only one other place he can be if he's not outside. And I don't think you want to follow him in there, Matt. Unless you do. I mean, you know, that's, I mean, that's a personal that's, that's, preference. It's a manly beard. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. I would follow that beard. To, hard to resist. What? The bathroom? We're always talking about his car, but if, if that's where your <laughs> thoughts go, I mean, that's... <laughs> I mean, you know. Yeah, that actually, that could be equally as yeah. bad. <laughs> he drives him somewhere nice yeah. on a cliff over facing the bluff and yeah. looks out on the sea. That's it's and then with that beard, I yeah, mean, oh, like it's it's a done yeah. deal, man. Yeah. Done deal. Virginity lost. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. Panties would just be flying everywhere. Yeah. Just, <laughs> like just while he's while, while he's driving down the street, you know, he's got to keep his windshield wipers on full blast <laughs> to wipe away the fucking uh, women underwear that fucking hit his car. Oh no! He's like, I can't drive. You bitches, stop. <laughs> On the flip side, he can also be going. The windshield washers are on the outside, yeah. so he can't wipe away what's <laughs> gonna what's splatter. Inside, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> true stories yeah. there too. Yeah. He's yeah. gotta have like a little squeegee inside. Yeah. That he wipes. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, damn it, bitches. <laughs> Well, I admire the loyalty. We probably would have just DQ'd a son of a bitch by now. Yeah, <laughs> you guys are like, yeah. we got it. Where is Arthur? Find him. Track him down. I don't think uh, he may be afraid of Caleb here. I'm not sure. If he thought that was what the match was going to be, what, didn't, what, was, it, what was projected? He, I don't know. Uh, Caleb's faced Arthur a lot of times in tournament before. I think he may. he thought he may have been in losers or something. Yeah. Or he's maybe he's just in the bathroom, you know, like... I, I you know I don't think I've ever seen Arthur use a use, use a bathroom break. I've never then seen again, him. he's a he's a he's a ninja. Like. He forfeited. What? That's upsetting. And Caleb gets a buy. That's lame. I wanted a buy. That's some bull. Yeah, sure. Uh, we're gonna make Mike play Caleb and Matt in tournament, and then not give him a buy. Yeah. I, does this mean I get third place? I hope this means I get third place. Really? That, that's awesome. I like this. Yeah, I get my money back. Hooray. Yeah. <laughs> Rocking. So I guess that puts this match forward then? Yeah. Okay. Um, let, let's let's confirm it with Bombi first. Real quick? Okay. Um, so we're confirmed that he's dropped. Yeah. Uh, does, does Bombi know? Perhaps you should go... Inform His Majesty. Okay, so uh, what we said before about the Fox Falco matchup, you can completely forget about that because this is going to be a Marth Fox matchup. Don't forget about it though, because this game will be at Evo. Yeah, that's and you will true. probably see that matchup there. <laughs> yeah, so don't everyone plays Space Animals. <laughs> space Animals are the yeah, shit, yeah. man. Yeah. That's what's up. So yeah, don't forget all that shit you just heard about Fox Falco. A common troll that I use is that. Uh, they're called. A lot of people say that they're space animals because they're animals from space. But I say differently because they're space animals because they're animals who are really good at spacing. Oh yeah. snap! Yeah. What do you? Uh, Bobby just said what? Okay, so here we go with grand finals with uh, Matt versus Caleb. Uh, I go? To the left. There, I know, it's not moving now. Okay, so uh, Arthur forfeit, so this would be... Caleb wins. He win. Arit. Right. Uh, Arit is French for like a sharp blade, or it's also known as like a sharp mountain top or something like that. Oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah. Or, or, oh, yeah. Arte or whatever. Yeah, yeah like yeah. I, I was studying that in geology. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a mountain range with a really yeah. sharp edge. That's pretty cool. I Educa think I think he means names. the French version though, the sharp blade. Yeah, yeah. Pro probably. So uh, oh, Caleb getting his warm up tech skill in right there. Trying to get 
get his combos down. Now, one one of Marth's weaknesses is that uh, you know back when back it, back when Smash was first starting out, the the undefeatable guy was named Ken, and uh, he was just romping on everybody. But uh, one one Fox found a weakness that if you're under him or behind him, there's not a lot that he can do. And for um, if if to do if if the if his opponent is behind him, uh -huh. there's not a lot Marth can do okay. if he's behind or under him. Okay. So that's what Caleb wants to do here. Get under him. Yeah. Um he also has, you know, a lot of quick hits and just random neutral airs to catch him off guard. Uh, Marth can out uh, outspace him, get uh get grabs, chain grabs. And like it Caleb trying to go for the shine spike there, but uh misses Marth also has really good edge guards on Fox because it's ver very predictable. He can only go in eight directions with his up B and only one direction with his side B. All right. Uh, uh, that's a good idea, refreshing. Because when you grab the ledge, you have a f like half a second of invincibility, so you can pretty much re-grab the ledge over and over again for invincibility. That was pretty much guaranteed right there. Yeah. Nothing to get it really done. Yeah. That sucks. Matt uh, just trying to get a little bit of breathing room. That up air is very strong. It kills at 80%. Nice. Yeah, the up smash is also very strong for Fox. That's another way to kill, especially on like us small stages. This isn't particular, particularly a small stage, so but it's still a very strong move. Um, I, I was explaining to Bombi before. What Matt wants to do is get Caleb on the platform here, on the platform above right there, because right. you're very vulnerable in just about any fighting game when you're knocked down, you know, you can't do anything. And yeah. if you decide, decide to roll left or right, it's very easy to react to because you can only roll to the sides of the platform. See? I see. Yeah, see? Like I said, get, got him on the platform, hit him, and it's a free spike. Nice. Yeah. You're very vulnerable uh, on the platform here, so you want to get off as soon as possible. But if you're knocked down, you can do a thing called tech chasing where you read where he's going to roll and just place an attack where that's going to be. Hmm. Yeah, and then it's a free hit. That's pretty cool. I like this game a lot because it reminds me a lot of like old school fighting games like Street Fighter 2 mm -hmm. where like basically you just have to avoid getting into the bad situation because once yeah. you're there you're just fucked yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you really just have to not get there yeah and if you let yourself go there then uh, like uh, games these days like have like fucking burst and yeah invincible re reversal yeah, attack yeah. and all this like this game is just like yeah shit's just grimy sorry man <laughs> like, yeah. you know you just gotta deal yeah. with it <laughs> like the one sign of a true competitive game is that when you lose, it is completely your fault. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not because of some, like, dumb factor or, like, you know, randomness or, you know, when you lose, it's, it's you got outplayed. And yep. Yeah. Yeah. Caleb trying to edge hog there. Um, another thing about the shine is that when you do it in the air, you fall a lot slower and you can jump out of it. So... When you when you do it in the air, you can just stay in the mid middle of the air there, like I said, and then you have a few options. You can either jump or let go and grab the ledge, or jump out and do an aerial attack. Hmm. Um, I don't know why Matt isn't going for the grabs here. Oh, and he read that and gets a free forward smash. Matt is at killing percentage, however, so pretty much a yeah. neutral air, back air, up smash, or an up throw will win here. So he needs to get a gimp off. Um, Caleb misses his up air. So. Oh, he's going for something janky there. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Heading on another another dy dynamic this game has called it's called DI directional influence. So when you get hits, you can hold a certain direction and it will influence where you will fly. Like let's say you get hit towards the side and if you hold up when you got hit, you'd be flying more towards the upright corner. Or if you hold down, you just be going. You just be flying straight down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, That's neat. Yeah. So kind of like a, they got that kind of thing in Soul Calibur too, where you can kind of float in different directions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Okay. Yeah. Got it. That's and neat. it can really affect because the higher up you are, the more chances of the higher percentage of you recovering. You know, the more room you have to move. Right. Yeah. And uh, Marth just going for the chain grab here. Uh -huh. Misses his forward smash. Um, sure, yeah, I was going to. And uh, uh, 
getting Milo in here. Right on. And, uh... So why did Jesus leave? Uh, I think he thought it was either over or he may have just been salty. Salty? Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll go with salty Jesus. Yeah. Caleb, I don't know what he was going for there, but, uh, he was screwed either way. Matt's on, on his game for the edge, uh, edge guarding today. And, uh, Matt, Matt, Matt's gonna win. Matt's gonna take a stock here. Oh, maybe not. Caleb, playing very smart, mixing up his edge games. Makes it back to the center stage. And gets him with the up smash, which is strong. Yeah. What do we have here? Seven viewers? What do they got to say about it? I don't know. All I've been talking about is, um, Jesus beard. I don't know why he left. Oh, and a full tipper forward smash there. He's not going to make it back. Yeah. Oh, oh, this, he oh, he messed up. Messed up, yeah. Come on, Matt. Come on. Hiya. Hiya. Oh, and oh. Matt messes up his tech skill there. Accidentally dodges off the ledge and dies. We call that a suicide. Matt succumbs to tournament Oh, nerves. man, look at those combos. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and you, another thing about this game is you, you can angle your shield a certain way, like Caleb was doing there, and Matt gets the ledge, uh, the edge. You know. So Sly uh, favorite favorite Caleb though. Um, no, Matt's definitely the best, but uh, Caleb's oh, right, now, right now, right now, right now. Yeah, but Caleb's played against Matt for so long, he knows. He won Matt the first round. Out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There he knows Matt inside out. Yeah. Nice one. Looks like Caleb's. Taking the lead here. Yeah. It's a strong lead. Uh, yeah. But what? that doesn't mean anything. Extra either. life and only had 25. Uh, miracles ha miracles happen a lot in this Oh, game. there you go. And then uh, Matt going for the tech chase, and that should be game. Ooh, uh -oh. Good. Oh. Oh. oh, my God. I thought he was. And Matt just trying to keep him off the ledge, and yeah. that's game right here. Yeah, he, can't, no, he can't come back. He can't high eye enough there. Uh, like I said, miracles happen in this game. So. Yeah, so Matt evened up pretty well right there. Yeah. Uh oh, Caleb trying to go in from the combos, and it's the chain grab. There's nothing you can do about that. That sucks. And then Matt fails to read the tech, so Caleb's gonna come back from this. Still pretty even. Yeah. Oh, off yeah. the stage. Oh, nope. You're not getting back on. Oh, no, Matt, no. little quick to the trigger on that forward smash there. But uh, don't worry, he's got the combos down. Just oh, yeah. get the damage in, and that should be it. Nope. Ooh. Yep. Just barely. Nice. Oh, the good fake out from K Caleb from the side B. Th right now it's anyone's game, but uh, oh, uh, no, that, that's it. Caleb does not have a second jump, and that would be game. Yep. Yeah. One one. Uh, yep. That is one one. Oh God. Oh, that's our player cam. Yeah, that's our player cam. Yeah. Big camp. It's called the Red Bull cam. See if it's moved next time we watch. Oh, I guess that that's how it's working. We got yeah. a whole cable going that way. Yeah. Um, let's see how Caleb counter picks. Oh, go into Pokey floats. Right, Do it, Caleb. Go Pokey floats. Do it. Pokey, Pokey floats. floats. Pokey floats. It's your sideboard. Pokey floats. We want it. The the viewers want it. Viewer. <laughs> The viewer wants it. Say you want it. Oh, and uh, taking this to Pokey Stadium, um, the platform's still as dangerous as everywhere else because Marth can just no do do whatever he wants to. He gets up on there and it's a free yeah free attack, it's a free attack. And uh, Smash Smash doesn't have the uh, the molten lava stage, or is that brawl? Or do you both have it? They they both have it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Caleb going too far down, not being able to recover. Caleb oh. showing off that little bit of tech skill there. Oh, too bad. Uh, Matt should get to solidify this skill right here. Matt up two stocks at 13%. It's not looking good for Caleb, but Caleb does have the ability to bring this back. He is Fox, the the top tier character of the game. Just a is couple he? shine spikes. Yeah, he's definitely he's he's a full tier higher than Mark here. Yeah. Like you know, on the platform, you want to get off of there. That's a bad spot. You want to you don't want to be there. Yeah, but Matt's got a huge lead, though. Yeah, he's sitting comfortably. He can just, you know, chill out. He can, he can stay on that platform if he wants to. I mean, I mean, on that ledge if he wants to. There's not a lot he can do. All right, what are you getting? We getting? Oh man, and uh, both players just 
with their stuff right there. And that is at, ooh, yeah. nice. Just a little Matt hit. playing very, very patient. I like that from him. Oh, God. Uh, Caleb wants to get in there, but uh, he, he's trying to look for an opening. He's honestly trying. He's dash dancing, trying to trying to get Matt to mess up somewhere. And hopefully get it. He, he's he's in killing range. Both players are in killing range. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's it. Uh, One to four. Uh, miracles happen in this game. Kale can still come back from this. Uh, All it needs is one forward smash. Not forward smash, up smash. Up smash and he wins, or, or up throw. Kale sitting well away from the from the ledge. Uh, trying to look for an opening here. Ooh. Oh, and does not get the sweet spot for that there we back go. air. Yeah. Ooh, that's, he's still, he's still coming back. He's still coming back, yeah. Oh, uh -oh. and that's that should be game. Oh, no, no. Matt messes up on his uh, manly ledge guard there. Matt playing safe and Ooh, nice. solidifies the kill. Up throw the up air. Fox's signature combo. It's an easy kill. See, look, you get on that platform and Mark just fucked yeah, you up. Yep, and there's nothing you can do. Oh, uh, yep, and yeah. JV four stock. Junior varsity four stock. Uh, Matt at two, Caleb at one. Matt, Matt's been playing uh, very safe here. He is on the winner's side, so he yeah. can really doesn't have to rush anything. Caleb did a good job counterpicking this stage because there's a there's a lot of room for him to run around here, a lot of room for him to avoid uh, Matt's nonsense. But Matt does have the tech chase down and just chain grabs. yeah, chain grabs, tech chases. Matt trying to interrupt that up B doesn't work out for him. If he goes, uh, yep, and that's game for Caleb. Oh, good oh, tech! No. Oh, oh, does no. not happen. Uh, almost, almost. Unfortunately, Caleb does not have insane teching skills. He's getting there though, and uh, it's just he's just fighting for his life here. Oh, Matt almost was in the danger zone there. Anytime uh -oh. you go below the stage line, you're in the got Kenny Loggins on your ass. It's in the danger zone. I got wind blow. Oh, the wind wind blow does not affect you when you're off the stage, actually. Really? Okay. Yeah, only just when, when you're on. on it, yeah. yeah. Caleb getting in those combos, 93%, very susceptible to a killing blow, like so. Right. Matt gets Probably his edge right guards here. off. Yep, yep, that's a tipper up forward smash. Yeah, so pretty much any time Fox gets off the stage, Marth wants him to stay off the stage. Because if he gets back, he just... Has to chase him down yeah, again. Yeah. Oop. Yep, there like, it, yep. like I said, Caleb's on the platform. Good. Yep. There you go. Caleb trying to look for the the shine spike does not happen. And since the forward smash, the up smash for Fox here is so strong, good fake out. It's so strong, Ooh, nice that one. that won't kill him. Uh. Needs a little, needs to be a little bit higher. But that that That's might it. that uh, no. uh, he can still come back. Yeah, still has second, there. second jump. Yep. Good shield and that's a solid back air to kill. Pretty even right now. So if Matt wins this turn, it's over. Yeah, yeah, unless Caleb resets the bracket. What time is it? Almost 2 o'clock. Win, wow. Matt, win! Please! Uh, I wanna go home and play League. <gasps> I might just go to Golden Donuts play some more Magic. <laughs> we have we have Golden Donuts Magic sessions there. Really? Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, we play till like 4 a.m. Uh, Caleb just trying, just struggling to stay alive here. Trying to get pokes, trying to combo into his up smash. But look, they're both, they're oh, both they're, at very oh, oh, here cheering. Uh, oh, oh that rolls right into the side B attack. His little sword dance. Oh, there. Marth's pretty high on the percentage, so he. Yeah. Caleb gets some. Decent hits, he can get him out and make it pretty even. Yeah, just an up throw to up smash, uh, up air would win. It's not gonna be uh, enough. Uh, he can. Uh, nope, nope okay. he does not make it back. Yeah. No second jump for him. All right. Your even. second jump is like your first. There we go. Yeah. Oh, oh, Caleb getting the combos in. He can do this. All he needs is one shine spike to bring this back. Oh man, backing off. Uh, safe moves. Caleb playing very safe here. 
But that's just not enough. He knows oh, he has the advantage. He has the, oh, he's trying oh, to keep it, the but stage. that's not gonna help. Oh, oh and no. Matt wins. Too short on the jump. Grand, grand finals, three to one. <laughs> Shout outs <laughs> to Matt. Oh, player cam sucks. Yeah, there you go. Commentary cam. Commentary cam. All right. Poor Caleb. So we're done for a night. Oh uh, no! Don't you guys still have KOF? Um, no. They decided to pack war for whoever wins. Oh. So uh, we grabbed pa ramp a uh, pile of magic cards. They start pulling random cards. Whoever got the highest mana cost won. Oh, they I did two out three. That. They did two out three though. So. Oh, okay. Right. So it was pretty legit. Looks know. like Caleb's going outside for a smoke. Dip. Looking salty defeat. smoke. Yeah. Let's uh let's get Matt over here for an interview on the winners. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna interview the the winners here. Yeah, yeah. So uh, everybody, welcome Matt, Wizard Hat Matt, the winner, melee. Here. Um, so tell us what was going through your mind uh, pre-game against Caleb. What what strategies were you hoping to, you know, um, abuse abuse? Um, you can say uh, when you're fighting against him. Well. I one thing, when you're playing a fighting game, you have a certain pool of techniques that you can use on your opponent, right? Mm -hmm. And the more you play a game or a character or whatever, you start to shift towards abusing what? one... You guys just unplug this. We're going to keep talking until you unplug this. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we'll probably keep talking until, even though you, you unplug us. <laughs> you you start to settle into like a certain set of skills that you use more often than the others, and that becomes like your staple, your bread and butter, right? Mm -hmm. And with Marth, um, normally you want to go for up throw, forward to air, up throw some aerial move at them, right? Mm -hmm. But the best is when you have an opportunity to juggle them with up air. So that's what I practice most: is just shuffle up airs. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. not, it's not that complicated. Yeah, I don't know. Like, that's all, I, was, I was watching your matches, and I don't know why you weren't going for grabs. You know, you're going a lot, a lot of pokes. And I feel like you guys fought underneath platforms a lot, and I felt like grabs would have been a lot better from you because you would have just gotten Caleb off on the platform yeah. and just raped him. I know you did that once on Pokey Stadium, and that turned out to be very effective for you. In fact, it was a zero to death. On like I think it was like your second stock, his second stock or something like that. Um, I'll have I'll have to watch the replay of this recording, I guess. Yeah, but like, but you, you weren't you weren't using grabs to your full advantage there. You were tech chasing pretty well. Well, but, yeah. one thing that I don't like about Marth players nowadays is that that's all they go for is grabs. I mean, like grabs are great on Marth. He's got the longest non-tether grab in the game. He has the best overall set of throws. Like he doesn't have one one. Really, yeah. He has. He doesn't have a throw that fits every situation like Sheik and Fox do, right? Mm -hmm. But he has a good. He has the best overall set. Like all of his throws are good for something. Mm -hmm. They set up into something else, you know. But you know that aside, a lot of Marth players nowadays don't realize that one of his big, like his biggest strength over every character in the game is his spacing tools. Mm -hmm. He has a huge reach, and he and you're rewarded for having good spacing with your tippers. Yeah. And, and I noticed that when doing your matches against Arthur, like especially on Yoshi's story, where your sword swings for pretty much half the stage, you know, you were just like waving that sword around. You didn't give a fuck, and there was there was a lot Arthur couldn't do because, like, Arthur was trying to get in there, but sure, but once you got away, you're just like, yeah, just throwing your sword the in his face, and there's no, you know there's very few things you can do about it. Then again, uh, Arthur wasn't exactly using the lasers to his full potential either. Well. Arthur doesn't play regularly either. Yeah, that's true. But he's still amazing, he, he, beside the fact he doesn't play that much and he's still that good. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, what do you... Yeah, okay, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. But uh, you go for grabs when you can in, like, pretty much all of Marth's matchups. But it's not the only thing you go for, because you're just throwing away one of the things that makes him one of the best characters in the game, mm -hmm. if you do. What do you feel like... Uh you could have improved on during your matches with Caleb. Um, the biggest problem with me lately is that I don't, I haven't been able to practice execution. Like my tech skill is way off. There are a lot of things that I was trying to do, and I screwed up on. I screwed up on like thirty plus things in that set with Caleb alone. Yeah, and I noticed. I noticed your edge guarding was. You know. 
like on Pokey Stadium, when I got him off the stage and I went off to spike him, I, m I messed up the timing and I paid for it. Mm. But like, that's that's I'm I'm not salty about it or anything. But you guys need to come to sessions. Like, yeah. like it's not good enough to just practice against computers yeah, at home by true. yourself. Yeah. And I and I send out and I send invitations for sessions like all the time. Well, and it's also very hard for, uh, I don't know, Caleb doesn't have a job, but you have to keep <laughs> in mind, I do work at 4, no, I start work at 4 to 6 a.m. I have work in about two hours, and, and, I'm, and I'm up here playing tournament matches with Matt because it's the first Melee tournament we had this year, and I feel like I should attend. No, like I'll have to talk to Bomber to see if, we're gonna be, if we can do this every week because if people come on a regular basis, it'll be better than just practicing at home. That'll be much better from Evo. Mm. Uh, like I know you're welcome. We're welcome to set up Smash during these uh, sessions. You know, they just won't be tournament. You know, we can we can still come here, set up Smash, and play. No, we they can have. run our own tournament as long as we we know we do it ourselves. Mm -hmm. Like it's going to be difficult for us because right now my laptop's busted and stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, James said he could give me his laptop since he he basically doesn't care about it anymore since he completed finished. He can. He finished constructing his desktop. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I do, as soon as I get that, I'll be able to run To mm -hmm. for us. Okay. Another. Uh, back to the interview. What do you think that uh, Caleb needs to solidify on in order for him? Because you three won him. You know, obviously he's he's missing some pieces there. What do you think he can uh, improve on to so that next time it's it's not a complete. It's yeah. like when I fight against Caleb, it's never a landslide. Like it looks like it, just like the numbers mm -hmm. and me winning the matches and stuff. But me fighting Caleb is is extremely even. Someone asked me, "Is like okay, what's the matchup between you two? I'm like fifty one forty nine. Yeah. Like where I'd actually consider us even. Like he can play a bigger range of characters to a better degree of effectiveness than I can. I can only play Sheik and Marth really, really good, and then every other character I'm just okay with. Yeah, that's true. I think he didn't want to go Falcon mainly because of the Sheik factor. Uh, he once said to me, uh, everybody if Sheik didn't exist, he, his main would be Falcon. Well, yeah. the, the deal is that he, everybody knows by now I don't play Sheik. Like, I, I play Sheik as like a training tool. If someone's trying to get better at the game, they're like, oh, I want a different matchup than Marth. Um, okay, I'll bust out Sheik. I mean Spider-Man because I play Red Sheik. Mm -hmm. But um, but he knows, like, no matter what character he I play, no no matter what character anyone picks in tournament, I'm going to use Marth. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm just a specialist like that. Mm -hmm. But um, like me and Caleb are basically even for skill. It mm -hmm. just so happens that I win more matchups against him. Mm -hmm. But th I think the biggest problem for Caleb is that he doesn't deal with tournament pressure as well. You can, you, as we're going to keep talking until you unplug us. Yeah. Uh, I think they're going to unplug us. Uh, signing off. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you.